Hello, Northwoods family. My name is Andrew Parmenter, one of the missions associates and students in the School of Ministry here at Northwoods. I'm so excited to talk to you guys this week about last week's sermon where Pastor Nathan gave us the third installment in our At The Movies series. Last week, we explored Spider-Man and how he comes of age and how that parallels to our spiritual maturity in Christ. Now, Nathan shared two ingredients for our spiritual maturity in Christ, but I just want to give you one. Nathan talked about suffering and how that plays into our maturity. Now, hear me out. Suffering is not something that we like to talk about. It's not fun. It's not exciting, but it's something that's necessary in our growth. If you've never seen Spider-Man, every, every time Spider-Man comes up, he always goes through something terrible. In this case, we learn that Spider-Man loses his family and is going through a very rough time with decisions to make, fighting, losing friends, and obviously loss of family. You see, we struggle with loss and suffering and pain in the same way. Those are real things that we go through. But I want to encourage you with the same thing that Nathan encourages with this weekend. We were in Hebrews 5, 8 through 9, and we learned that Jesus also had to suffer. If you want to follow along in Hebrews 5, it says this, Even though Jesus was God's son, he learned obedience from the things he suffered. In this way, God qualified him as a perfect high priest, and he became the source of eternal salvation for all those who obey in him. Jesus had to suffer, and he learned obedience through that. I think it's encouraging that Christ, our Savior, also had to suffer and overcame that. Not only overcame it, because of his suffering, he allows all of us to gain salvation in him. Suffering had a purpose in that situation. He saved us all from our debt. Thank you, Jesus, for the cross. You see, we see that Jesus suffered, but there are so many other biblical examples of suffering leading to something good. In Romans, Paul writes to the church of Rome of how suffering can impact their life. Now, Paul is, is somebody that knows what suffering looks like. He's gone through exile, pain, sickness, so many things. He's thrown in prison. A lot of, a lot of things that we today can still kind of relate to. And he writes this in Romans 8.18. It says, I consider that our present sufferings are not worth comparing with the glory that will be revealed in us. You see, he knows that God uses suffering in our lives and even goes as far to say that glory will be revealed in us through our suffering. And again, Paul knows exactly what that's like. Know that your current struggles, pain, suffering, whatever word you want to use, can be used by God. Later on in, in Romans 8, Paul writes in 8, 26 to 27, in the same way the Spirit helps us in our weakness. We do not know what we ought to pray for, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us through wordless groans. And he who searches our hearts knows the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for God, God's people, in accordance with the will of God. Amidst our struggles, the Holy Spirit steps in for us. When we are in those moments of despair and we don't know what to pray, the Holy Spirit steps in and says, I got this. And he helps. He lets God know exactly what we need. You see, I want to give you this. Suffering is not supposed to be the end of your story. Suffering is a peace that leads you to glory, that leads you to Christ. Like we see with Jesus suffering on the cross, he had to do that for a reason. And from his suffering came eternal salvation for all. Paul reminds us in Romans that our suffering will lead to more. And that the Holy Spirit wants to use our suffering for more than what we see right now. To bring it full circle, in Spider-Man's case, his suffering and his struggle brings great fighting. He learns how to fight like a true hero. He makes a strong decision, and he saves the lives of all of his friends and, and many in the world. You see, like I said before, struggling was never meant to be 
the end of the story. Suffering was never meant to be your finale. Let the Holy Spirit use that suffering in your life. And allow yourself to be steadfast in that. Look to the examples we have in Scripture of Paul and Jesus and so many others and how their suffering brought so much in their growth and their maturity. I'm trusting that God has greater things than your current suffering. Allow him to use that. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your blessing. And we thank you for your struggle and your suffering that allowed us to have so much. Lord, we know that it was painful and we know that it was hard. But without that, we have nothing and we have no freedom. And Lord, we thank you for just your word where we can look to examples of people who, who struggled, people who suffered, but from that gained maturity in you. And Lord, I just want to lift up my brothers and sisters right now that are going through something that maybe they don't see the end of, but Lord, you are guiding it and you are bringing something from it. We thank you for that. We pray for steadfast uh, perseverance in your name for those people. And we just are trusting you for greater things. It's in your name. Amen. Well, Northwoods family, thank you for tuning in. Uh, come join us this week at the Peoria campus, the Canton campus, or the Chillicothe campus. And we hope to see you there.